What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's conversation, we're going to deviate a little bit from the norm, and I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, why you will not be seeing me on Talk Haven uh, on Talk Heathen anytime soon. And and the primary reason that I'm doing this video is to go ahead and clear any confusion uh, and kind of get ahead of things b before. <laughs> before people start creating their own narratives. So I just want to kind of be proactive here. So before we jump into this conversation, be sure to like the channel, subscribe to the video, hit the, uh, no, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that alert notification bell, uh, consider joining our community or getting involved in whatever way makes sense for you. And of course, check out our merch. All right. So let's kind of jump into this, uh, a little bit. Uh, this week I made the decision, um, and it was mutual that, that I would no longer be a part of the talk heathen, um, lineup. And I know this is somewhat premature, somewhat early, cause I've only been on, uh, the show once I was also scheduled to be on, uh, last week. Uh, but you know, after giving this quite a bit of thought, it, it, it really turns out not to be a good fit for, for, for me for, for a slew of reasons. Um, I want to preface this by saying that. Uh, the, 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 the entire ACA team that I've been able to interact with was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, there, there's been no bad blood, no ill will. Um, every time that I was on, I, I enjoyed it. We had a good time. We laughed. I enjoyed the after shows. Um, so it has nothing to do with the people or the team or the vision or the values or, or anything like that. Um, so let's kind of walk through it. Um, this, you know, hosting with, uh, with Talk Heathen is a volunteer, uh, type of opportunity. You know, it's, it's a nonprofit organization, of course, and nonprofit organizations are typically, um, typically ran by, uh, volunteers that, that that's one of the, uh, one of the legal requirements, but it's not as cut and dry as people like to think it is. But anyway, that's a volunteer, require, uh, volunteer opportunity that, that they approached me with. And of course, I initially agreed. Uh, it, was, it was an exciting opportunity um, to be on Truth Wanted, Talk Heathen, and the Atheist Experience. And again, I enjoyed um, each time. And so um, they did let me know that there was a... Um, that there was a requirement... Uh, for the volunteers. And that is that um, if you're one of the volunteer hosts, then you can't have any shows on Sundays running at the same time. Um, now, I initially agreed to this. It, it was uh, not a big deal, partly because I am somewhat an amenable character, which means if, if I'm in conversation uh, with a person, if I can't immediately find a reason to be like, nah, most cases I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, of course, yeah. Um, but after much thought, I realized that I didn't like the tension that that, uh, that that requirement was creating in my planning process. Um, so uh, we the, the, the big issue was the ex-pastor call-in show, which is a Sunday show, which we had started planning long before I got the uh, invitation to be a part of uh, the ACA's corral of hosts and guest hosts. Um, and we had, of course, settled on Sunday, my team and I, me, Kyle, Wes, and some others, um, based off of our own schedules, based off of other conflicts we have in our own lives, and also based on the fact that my my channel is somewhat of a Sunday channel. Um, so it was creating some tension. And of course, we were, um, we were looking at having to change the ex-pastor call-in show to Thursdays. Um, which, you know, we kind of settled on after talking through. And then we were thinking about moving our our Sunday sessions uh, up to, uh, to an hour. And the problem with that became, um, so that we'd be clear, but the problem with that became is that we have a responsibility to our audience. We have a responsibility to our channel. And we um, we didn't choose any of these times, whether for Sunday sessions or for the ex-pastor call-in show haphazardly. And so even though I initially agreed, I did have to pull back on that agreement. Even after making making the adjustments to make everything work, after making the adjustments, it no longer made sense and it was no longer what we had planned. Um and that was a really uncomfortable feeling for me. And so, um, so you know, I, I've, I've given it much thought. Now, 
The other thing was, this was exasperated by someone making a comment on my post um, that I did find to be absolutely rude. And, and I do want to uh, speak to this because I've, I've run into this a lot in the secular community where there is, and, and, and I have to be honest, I don't want to play the race card, but it is one group in the secular community that continues to do this. And that is this thing of feeling the need to police me, you know? And so just to give you some, some, some insight and what the person posted wasn't necessarily negative. I just found it rude. And what the person said was, Hey, love your stuff, but why go live in the same time as the atheist experience? Now, mind you, at this time, I was not an official host of any ACA program. Um, the person who made this comment, well, he made it publicly, so I can, I'm not going to say his name. It's not worth it. Uh, but, but the person who made this comment is a volunteer of the ACA. But that was a comment that I did take offense to. Uh, that was very problematic for me. Uh, number one, I don't like being policed by strangers, period. If I don't fucking know you, don't jump on my page and give me advice. You know, it's, and, and, and the sad thing is, this wasn't even advice. This was almost like a rebuke. Like, who are you to have a show at the same time as the atheist experience? And I'm like, whoa, the atheist experience and I do not have that type of relationship. And I don't have to ask anybody's fucking permission to do anything on my channel. I hope that's clear. You know, and so I did respond and I said, uh, sir, I hope you understand that there are many variables that go into planning an event like this. You want to know why? Because that's the day and time that works for my team and guests. For future reference, please resist the urge to police my schedule. If a time doesn't work for you, it just doesn't work for you. P.S. There is literally a note that says the show will be streaming on Thursdays starting in August. So, yeah, I, I took I took issue with that. I did. And the 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 conflict and the tension that I was already, you know, wrestling with trying to make my schedule accommodate this volunteer opportunity combined with this person's audacity to try to check me for when I had my show. And in just a mind, just to, just to point out, this person never responded back. This person, ne you had the balls to come out and try to check me. But after I called your ass out, you didn't have the integrity to say, you know what, man, my bad, that was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. You're right, you don't owe us. You, do you don't owe us your soul. You're a fucking volunteer. And you had some shit going on before we reached out to you. Like, I don't like the kiss the ring type of behavior. Now, to be clear, that was not the behavior of the experience that I had with the ACA. That was the behavior of one random commenter who just so happens to be an ACA volunteer. But I will encourage the ACA to, hey, make sure you check and stuff like that. But, um... But so, yes, yeah, so if I was already on the fence, that damn show put me right on over the edge. It made me start thinking like, whoa, whoa, I am, I've actually, what I am doing at this moment is actually being unreasonable. I am actually rearranging my whole channel strategy to accommodate to a volunteer opportunity that I will only be part of once a month, if that. You know, so... I did have a conversation and, and, and let them know that. And it was, it was a wonderfully, um, wonderfully non-difficult conversation. It wasn't, it wasn't a, it wasn't a conflict. It, there wasn't any issues. Um, the biggest thing is the show had already been planned. Um, I, I had put in the post that we were changing the, uh, changing the times. I had even announced on the first ex pastor call in show, um, that we were, uh, changing the times, but, but after I cooled down, responded, I thought about this and realized like we chose Sunday for a reason. And that reason was echoed in the comments and in the chats of the first show, changing the day simply wasn't in the best interest of the people who make the show happen or the people who would likely get the most value out of the show. And let's be frankly honest, Sundays are actually a big deal in the grand scheme of what we do on this channel. You know, 
So no ill will, no bad blood. I enjoyed them as much as I am sure they enjoyed me. It was just a logistical issue. Um, regardless of how beneficial the relationship uh, may be, I need to preserve the freedom to move as I see fit. That's one of the reasons I left religion so that I could lean to my own understanding, you know. And thankfully, uh, the team at Talk Heathen has been absolutely receptive, have been absolutely great, uh, 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 gracious and understood. You know, they have to do what's best for their show. Um, and I have to do what's best for community. And that's typically where I stand. Um, I, I, I <laughs> um, as of now, anybody who wants me to participate in anything, if it comes with the requirement that I have to adjust my schedule to accommodate what's best for you, it's likely not going to work out. I, you know, and this is just my pet peeve. This is not network television. So trying to, trying to really police when other people's shows can run, it's just not modern thinking to me, you know, and, and I tend to separate myself from anything where I feel like the mode of operating or the mode of thinking is a little outdated. Stuff like that actually does rub me the wrong way. Um, like literally, I will not participate because I don't use the word progress and progressive as just a label. It is a description of, of who I am. You know, uh, it's it's created a lot of friction for me and my family because I've been this way, you know, most of my entire life. <laughs> um, so, no, like uh, it, uh, it. And honestly, if I try to set my channel around the entire, you know, around the atheist community, eventually I'd never be able to put anything out. So. I don't necessarily uh, think that's a wise strategy, and and I hope th I do hope that the ACA uh, reconsiders that because I would absolutely love to come back one day. But uh, but yeah, so that's it. That's it. Um, the main reason I'm putting this information out is because there was already sort of a racial narrative brewing in the comments, and I don't want my pre premature departure from the show and the platform to be a reflection of any veracity for that narrative. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't think anybody, anybody was bothered, bothered by my blackness, uh, on the show or anything like that. So I don't want anybody thinking that, uh, I was actually scheduled to be on a week ago, but as many of you know, the AC went out in my house. So that's why I didn't appear. As a matter of fact, the AC will be out in my house until Monday, or at least that's when they say they're going to come and fix it. So I'm trying to get as many of these videos done now so that I don't have to come back and do this. You know, I don't have to be s struggling through the heat every day. So some of these you're going to see me in the same shirt because it's too hot to change clothes in between filming. Uh, but but, you know, getting back to the point, I just want it to be clear that there was no conflict that led to this decision other than a conflict of schedule. This isn't a conflict of interest. This isn't a conflict of, ide uh, of ideas. This isn't a conflict of race. This isn't even a conflict of culture. It is solely a conflict of schedule. I just, I am fiercely resistant to changing my schedule because I am confident in what we are achieving on this channel uh, and with this community. Uh, and as I've stated, if the ACA ever changes that requirement, I will be back whenever they're ready to have me uh, because I do enjoy the work that they do. And I think it is immensely uh, helpful. And that feeling is mutual. Uh, that was the the last thing that and, and I hope Richard doesn't mind me calling him out. He and I are the ones who had the conversation. Uh, but those are the last things, uh, last words that Richard and I had uh, had to each other on yesterday was just how much we were appreciative of the work that, that 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 we all do and how valuable that work is. He appreciated my candidness, my candor and explaining why I couldn't uh, proceed. And I and I uh, and I appreciated uh, him being, you know, absolutely candid with me about, well, you know, we have this requirement and we got to stick to it. And, uh, and, and ultimately, that's what made the decision. It's the requirement that made the decision. Uh, they love me. Uh, I love them. Um, and I think at the end of the day, probably the more accurate way to say it is we all just love the work. You know, we, we, we all want a 
We all want a world where people are free to critically engage the world around them. And, and, you know, for me, I want a world as free of superstition as possible, whatever that could mean. But I do want to thank you all for hanging out with me. I'd love to hear uh, hear what your thoughts are um, in the comments. And, and, and I hope you all aren't too disappointed in me. Uh, but we will keep doing what we're doing right here uh, on the channel and I'll keep supporting the ACA and really everybody else who's doing work out here uh, to help this world be a little safer, a little softer and a little more sound. I like that. All right. So thank you all for hanging out with me. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that alert notification bell, consider finding a way. Uh, to get involved with this community in whatever ways that makes sense for you. Um, and then until next time, man, keep rising, uh, stay progressive, and uh, stay beautiful. I mean, yeah, only if you can, though. You know, do what you do. I'll holla.